here. We're gonna look at the tripod mode. Hey YouTube, how's it going? Chris and Adam Tech here. Somebody recently messaged me on how to control their DJI Spark drone better. But this goes for almost all drones. As you know, it's really sensitive as far as uh, yaw control. I'm going to be going into how to make that a little bit more smoother. One is how you hold the controller. Next is looking at the app using the tripod mode. So first thing is how to hold the remote. As you notice, this is not the DJI Spark remote. This is the uh, DJI Phantom 4 Pro. If you're a gamer, you're already going to put your fingers like this on here onto the top of the joystick. What I noticed um, as far as my own, through my own experience, just putting my fingers on here, especially when trying to do intricate maneuvers, I, I feel like I don't have enough control. I, what you can also try is the called the pinching method. So you're kind of just uh, holding it with your thumb and forefinger and you know you could try try it this way. When I'm just flying to get to somewhere, I usually just put unquote thumb it to get to places. But once it comes to like maneuvering, such as doing like a manual orbit or going through trees or having to do some type of um, really intricate maneuver, I end up I find it more comfortable to fly it uh, using the pinching method. I think one people I think one thing people tend to forget is that unlike video games. When, when you put joystick inputs, you're really only moving a millimeter or two to move the aircraft. And similarly, if I'm going to be yawing, this is all I'm moving. This is the Spark controller here. Just wanted to show you the difference between the Phantom sticks and the on the Spark controller. The main difference is that these, the, the sticks here are much more fatter. And so I guess you can kind of thumb it. It feels it feels okay, but the fact that these are bigger, I feel like you can be a little bit more precise when you're doing the pinching method. Again, you can thumb it. Uh, as mentioned, you're only going to be moving a millimeter or two. So I think you have more control using the pinching method versus using the thumb. I'm going to be trying to use uh, the DU recorder to kind of showcase um, what I was talking about briefly. So if my hand gets in the way like like this, I do apologize. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to do everything with my cell phone camera versus having an additional one. So you're gonna be looking at me and then I'm gonna flip the screen forward so you can actually look at the thing take off. So let's turn this around. And hopefully I'm not blocking anything important. Let's see, uh, let me resize so you guys can see it. So there's the DJI Spark. We're gonna go take off now. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please right. check it on the map. So these, there's the DJI Spark again, moving forward, moving backwards, and this is all with the left stick, uh, the right stick, right, left, okay, and then the on the left stick is your up and down, and then if you go right joystick, it pivots to the right. The beeping is the the sensor that's working and if you go left then it pivots to the left so as mentioned uh, you push up to go up and down to go down left and right so now if you're wondering how to get really smooth shots, all you really need to do is really slow to get panning. You basically use the left as slow as you can to go around. Um, and then we'll take a look at the footage after. As you can see it's panning fairly smooth, just doing it manually. And I'm going to pivot to the right. Low battery warning. And I need to change battery again. Alright guys, so the next method of trying to get the smooth shot is selecting this tool. That is your uh, intelligent smart shots. So just click on it. And obviously I'm not taking it off. What you want is this right here, the tripod mode. What that'll do is um, reduce all the rates of the, all the controllers. So it's literally, I think, at most you'll be flying two or three miles an hour. Or Alright guys, so I wanted to mention how to fly um, smoothly. 
So one of the other options is here. We're gonna look at the tripod mode. So we're going to click on that, I'm going to say collect tripod, and uh, now let's record the footage of me going forward. The home point has been updated. That's the speed Please for tripod mode, for yawing. Going forward, going backwards, going left, and going right. So that's the speed. Um, it's fairly slow. Yawing. And this is full stick to the left and full stick to the right. Similarly, if we go left, and right you can see but if we go if I stop that and go full speed it's much more quicker you got to be on the throttle that's forward and backwards left and right that's full throttle right here and I got to turn you can see it's much more quicker All right so this is why when you uh, use the finger method, the the pinch method, it, you get more controllability as far as wanting to move slow or not. Okay. Hey guys, so hopefully you guys gained some insight as far as trying to get smoother shots with your DJI Spark. Now just basically holding your controller, using your fingers, um, kind of doing a pinching method with the sticks versus kind of thumbing it. You do have better dexterity with your four fingers and your thumb versus just your thumb alone. Your personal preference, again for me, when I'm just flying just for fun, I just use the thumb method. But when I'm getting into trying to do intricate maneuvers, flying through trees and stuff, then the pinching method actually works. Part two, try using tripod mode. It adds more stability to your aircraft. So it'll be even smoother when you enable the tripod mode. Hopefully that answers some of your questions. Leave a comment below. I'd like to know what you guys do to get better footage or better you know just better control overall of your device and thank you guys for tuning in please subscribe to my channel for those of you guys who have already subscribed high five pop, pop. i appreciate the support and i want to continue to bring keep bringing you this kind of content give me a big thumbs up if you guys found this informative stay tuned for the next episode fly safe and mahalo plenty